We're into the home stretch of the Simulation Football League's 19th season, and the Sunday slate of the 10th week starts off with a doozy in the District of Columbia. Two teams that snuck into the playoffs a season ago are now firmly in the postseason picture this time around, setting up a ton of intrigue in the third all-time meeting between the Tulsa Desperados and the D.C. Dragons. Two stops for Tulsa, which is one of the weakest defenses in terms of pass defense and yards allowed. Only two allowed over the first two plays. Synergy now throwing right sideline and intercepted. Cameron Shaw sticks the toes down inbound. Oh, I'm getting kind of a deja vu flashback from yesterday's game. Uh, interceptions already. DC's first drive. He's got another turnover. JQ will start in enemy territory in the first run for Douglas Brown. Spin move for Douglas Brown. Can anyone stop him? Yes, they can. At the five-yard line, a touchdown saving tackle. So now Tulsa will have to trot out Brook They gain about half a yard on three plays once they get to the five-yard line. And Brook Beisel, who has only missed one field goal so far this season, is good from 21 yards in season 19 if he keeps it up. Second, third down today for DC. They'll run it now for Say. Kevin Say, first down and more. Out to the sidelines he goes. Only one defender can stop him. And no one will catch him. What a response on third down. Kevin Say, 70 yards. Touchdown, Dragons. Put some great blocking up front. And basically after that first, first hole, he was just going to the races. There's nobody there to catch him. Nobody there to stop him at all, basically. So far, so good. Tulsa gets into the postseason last season and surely en route to it again this year. Dart from Q right on target. Corey Jones has another catch. Josh Vasquez and Ty Woodson. To four for Brown. Now they'll run it again. A couple of spins for Brown. Breaks away that time from Vasquez and gets inside the 35 to the 34. Brooks only missed one this year. We've already seen her make from 21 just a minute ago, but this would be one of the longest field goals of her career. Hold down from DeShera Young. The kick is on its way, and it's good officially from 51. DC by one. Say alone with Synergy in the backfield. He splits out, but Synergy will toss it up, nice. and it's caught by Lauren Percoco. Fourth-year tight end has her first catch. Three receiving touchdowns for her as well. Most among them are pass catchers. Here's the give and what a run. Kevin Say bruising again. Surprisingly enough, considering how good he was over his first two seasons, nearly has this one blocked, but Paw T knocks it through from 50 yards. We saw Beisel hit for... But Tulsa lost to Sioux Falls last week, and with Minnesota winning earlier today, it could pose a big log jam. There's a nice link up from Shabazz Synergy right on target to Josh Gill. His first catch of the night, first down. Only Dragon that can say that. That one goes for 13 and a first down. In the 46, Synergy has time, throws right in stride. Gus Scott has another catch and another first down for DC out of towards the 32. And his third pick of the season earlier, but not that time. Third and manageable now for DC. He'll spread it out with four wides and a tight end. Synergy looks to the tight end and has her. Lauren Percoco inside the red zone. Gill, Churchill, three for Scott. Westlake has gotten involved in the blocking game as well. From the red zone, here they go. They'll toss it out. Kevin Say, spin move, breaks through the first oh, wow. wave and nearly got through the second as well. On the left side of that field is wide open for Kevin Say. It will run it to Kevin Say to the left side of the field. Point for you, Rochelle Colston, and six points for DC. Second touchdown for Kevin Say. It's his first catch and first target. The 45. Hugh has time this time, but now he gets hit and floats it up, and it's caught. Gabriel Manning has it again. The best scoring offenses in the league. DC fifth in the league in points, 10th in the league in yards on offense. Also is pretty good at scoring, but they struggled to move the ball, and they have struggled to even get into the red zone today. Yeah, he used to be the standout here. He was the feature back here for seven seasons, but now it's the Douglas Brown show. Risky throw by Q, intercepted, ripped oh, away no. by Pina Say, and down the sidelines he goes. Only Phoebe Collins has a chance, and she has no chance. A pick six for Peanut Say, just the second defensive touchdown for D.C. I remember Peanut Say very well, Tim. He was one of our uh, draft picks. He, you know, stayed with us for one season. But great player. Great play. I don't think the receiver ever even saw the ball coming. That was Manning. 
Peanuts one on one against Gabe Manning today, Rochelle. And you're right. We saw Peanut in his rookie season. Now he's the number one corner here for a DC Dragons team, which would be the number three seed if the playoffs started this week, which feels like a little bit more like it for him. Loss of two there. Q will fire into traffic and ripped away. Two defenders were there, and Josh Vasquez comes down with it for DC. Hold up. You see that 93 rushing yards? So literally a third of his rushing yards came on that one carry. Midfield, Q's nice. pass is caught somehow. There were two receivers there, and somehow Sanzo Robinson is able to pull that one in. I have no idea what I'm seeing sometimes, but Sanzo is seeing it pretty well. It's his second catch. Number just 11 for him on the season. Q on the run, will dump it off Ooh. Brown, breaks away, sidestep for Douglas Brown, and gets taken down at the 30. Well over 100 all-purpose yards already here this evening. Time ticking down, under two minutes left in the third. Q, deep drop, feels the heat, fires nice. over the middle, and a diving catch. Another grab for Sanzo Robinson. Give him three. The two safeties, off-season acquisitions this season. Torres stops the touchdown, at least for now. From the three, here goes Brown, sidestep, touchdown. Douglas Brown finally gets Tulsa into the end zone. He's gone over 1,100 rushing yards in each of his three seasons. There's a bolt nice. from Bad Synergy. And hold in, Josh Gill finally has his second catch. That's a big one. Jack Haldorf, Mel Davis, and the stat truck. Cameron Irvine working hard behind the scenes. First play of the fourth quarter. Ow. And another nice link up from Shabazz Synergy. Hits his target in stride. That's Mike Churchill. Over 150 all-purpose yards for Kevin Say through two court for three quarters. Excuse me. Now they will run oh. it. Say, oh. Running room, back tackle off to the races. Oh. And down at the one. A touchdown saving tackle by Philadelphia Collins. Got a big game. Tulsa jumps. Here's the give. Kevin Say scores. Pick up that flag. Another touchdown for Kevin Say. His third today. And DC extends the lead. Yeah, th this penalty is just a waste of time to even call it. For channel guide and more info about NXT, visit nlse.com. It's coming up next on Next Level Sports. AQ trying to rewrite the script. Oh, no. He throws another interception. Third takeaway today for the Dragons. Number two for Peanuts Say, Dang. and that might seal it. Well, DC started the season against the reigning champs, a loss to the Baltimore Vultures. Since then, the Dragons have been flying high. Kevin Say scores three touchdowns to lead the Dragons to their eighth straight win. For the first time, DC defeats Tulsa.